The Linux Foundation is a fraudulent organization. It is run by a bunch of frauds, a bunch of scamsters, really a bunch of hypocrites because it's long been known that many of the people that work at the Linux Foundation, they don't actually use Linux as their operating system. Most of them are using Macs and they're using proprietary software such as the software from Adobe to create their presentations and reports and things like that. And it, it bothers me that you have people that work at the Linux Foundation and most of them are not even using Linux as their operating system. And I'm not just talking about GNU slash Linux, which they really should use that, but even the proprietary operating systems that use the Linux kernel. I mean, these guys are not running Chromebooks and they're not running Android devices. No, they're all running Apple products. They all have MacBooks and iPhones and none of that crap even uses the Linux kernel, right? It's like these people, they're out there shilling and trying to raise money for their product. They don't even use their product. A couple of years ago, the president of the Linux Foundation, Jim Zimlin, was spotted using a, a MacBook to give some presentation or something, and that caused quite a stink. But, uh, you know, a lot of people just kind of brushed it off. Maybe that was a one-time thing. He, he probably has machines that run Linux, but he just happened to have his MacBook that day or something. But no, this is a recurring theme, because just yesterday, I came across a Twitter post that basically took a screenshot of the Linux history report. So there is a Linux kernel history report that the Linux Foundation puts out, I think, every month or so. Anyway, this guy downloaded the PDF of the report and was checking the about information of the report. And it shows that this was created on a Mac using some Adobe software. Matter of fact, I can show you guys this on my computer. I downloaded the report myself, and if I open it in my PDF viewer here, and let me go to properties, you know, I will get this window that pops up, and look at this. This was created by Adobe InDesign 15.1 on a Macintosh. They created the 2020 Linux kernel history report, uh, published just a few days ago, probably August 2020. They created this on a Mac using Adobe software. Now, again, we probably shouldn't be shocked at this because it's long been known that the Linux Foundation is dominated by corporate interests, business interests. This is not a foundation that's out there fighting for free software or open source software or digital rights, you know, digital privacy, things like that. That's not what this organization is about. It's all about business. It's all about making money. And if you look at the platinum members, which is the highest membership of the Linux Foundation, you have companies such as Facebook, Google, and Microsoft. And those three companies really dominate the Linux Foundation and dominate Linux development because those three companies are heavily invested in Linux. Of course, Google makes several operating systems that use the Linux kernel. Of course, Microsoft does a lot with Linux, with Azure and, you know, the Windows subsystem for Linux and all of that. And Facebook probably has millions and millions and millions of Linux servers. So they have a lot invested in seeing Linux developed, but Facebook and Google and Microsoft and all these corporate interests, you know, VMware and Intel, you know, they are pushing for Linux development in certain directions, you know, directions that benefit their companies. You know, they want what well, Microsoft, you know, is trying to get things put in the Linux kernel that benefits Microsoft, that benefits, you know, the Windows subsystem for Linux and things like that. They're not interested in helping the broader Linux ecosystem. That's not what Microsoft is interested in. That's not what Google is interested in. That's not what Facebook is interested in. And all three of those companies have seats on the board of directors of the Linux Foundation. And it frustrates me that, you know, they are using the name the Linux Foundation. I, I don't care necessarily what people do, but they're putting it out there. We are the Linux Foundation. So many of us in the Linux community would assume that they are ideological and is out there standing up for open source and doing what's right, but they're not. These guys don't care about Linux. They don't care about Linux at all. They don't care about Linux as a desktop operating system or even a server operating system. 
Much of the work that goes on actually in the Linux kernel these days, much of that is really for Android and increasingly Chrome OS because of Google's influence, you know, pushing things in that direction. Which brings me to this point. I wonder what Google, who is so heavily invested in Linux and the Linux Foundation, I wonder what Google actually thinks about all these people at the Linux Foundation using iPhones and using MacBooks, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, hey, we're giving the Linux Foundation all this money to help develop the Linux kernel because we need it for our operating systems. But the people at the Linux Foundation, they obviously don't care about Google's operating systems. They also don't care about the GNU slash Linux operating systems. You know, they're, they're all running, you know, their Mac pros or MacBook pros or you know, Mac airs. <laughs> They've got all the, the I devices It's crapple all the time at the Linux Foundation. What bugs me even more is the guys at the Linux Foundation obviously don't care about open source software at all. They don't care about the open source movement, right? They're not trying to change hearts and minds because if you were, you would be using open source software. These guys are using Adobe software, proprietary garbage software to create their reports and PDFs and presentations and images and everything that they do at the Linux Foundation is done almost entirely on proprietary garbage. <laughs> and they're not running open source software at all. And that should just raise all kinds of red flags, especially those of us in the Linux community. And, and I'm talking about everyone, not just people that have a, a platform such as me, because we all are on social media and you know, everybody has some kind of platform to speak on. And we all need to start calling out the Linux Foundation for their hypocrisy, because this is complete and total BS that you have. Linux in the name because they're milking Linux, right? The, the, having Linux in the name, having the Linux trademark as, as part of the Linux foundation, they're just milking that because they know they've got so much of the Linux community fooled because we think they're ideologues. You wouldn't call yourself the Linux foundation unless you really believed in Linux, unless you really believed in the open source movement. When all these guys, all they're about is making money. So this has angered me enough that I think what I'm going to do is I am going to email these guys and let them know what I think. So if you go to the Linux Foundation website at linuxfoundation.org and find their contact information, you will see they have a general contact email at info at linuxfoundation.org. And I'm going to email these guys and I'm going to let them know what I think. And I think all of you guys, if this bothers you, you should email them and let them know what you think. Let them know what you think about folks at the Linux Foundation using proprietary operating systems and not just proprietary operating systems. They're using proprietary operating systems that don't even run on the Linux kernel. And they're using proprietary garbage software like the Adobe products to do basic work, you know, PDFs and presentations and things. And they're doing this not just for work at their house or whatever. I mean, this work is being done for the Linux Foundation. That PDF file that somebody created on a MacBook using Adobe, that was done as work for the Linux Foundation, for a Linux Foundation report. This, these people are not even invested in Linux. And I think we, we have to start calling them out on it. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people here. I need to thank the producers of the show. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Corbinian, Mitchell, Devin, Fran, Akami Channel, Chuck, Claudio, Donnie, Dylan, George, Kell of Devils, Lewis, Paul, Scott, and Willie. These guys, they are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of this episode. I also need to thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. These are all my supporters on Patreon. Because this channel is supported by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.